I would now like to call our first speaker on the opposition side of the house, Henry Wright. Henry is a third year student reading computer science at Homerton College and is currently the vice president external for the Homerton Union of Students. He won this slot through open audition and is potentially a candidate for the, he's not potentially a candidate for any office. I call the speaker Henry Wright. <laughs> <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here, and may I say, there's already more people here than any of the most packed Kusu council chambers I've been in. Which might make you think it's a little bit weird, perhaps, that I am standing on this side of the house, telling you that Kusu does represent you, and it does represent students. But I'm going to start on a much more basic point, and that point is, what on earth is the point of a student's union? What should KUSU be doing? Well, at other universities, this question might be a lot more simple. In fact, at most other universities, all it consists of is having a cheap bar, coordinating events, providing services, and representing students' views to the university, of which the latter is perhaps not their most important function if you ask a student where the cheapest pint is. All that is left for KUSU to do at this university with the line blurred between JCRs and MCRs, who provide so many of the services that we would expect from a normal student's union, is to scramble for attention for their events and to represent us to the university. So if their only purpose is to represent us to the university, what on earth else would they be doing all day with all of this time they have as full-time jobs apart from representing us? Well, I'm going to move that, in fact, they do. They do represent us. And that, in many ways, at the moment, is the most tragic part. Yes, I'll take your point. As, as I mentioned in my speech before, there's an excellent blog. Well, I say excellent in the, in the loosest sense of the word. There's, there's a blog on the KUSU website that, 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 that merrily details um, the goings-on of the sabbatical officers. And you Lovely. can, I've read it in and great you can, detail. And you can see what they're sit. doing. And they're nipping to Pret for lunchtime. Sit down. Right. <laughs> they go in and they represent us at the highest levels of this opaque organization that forms the university. Does anybody here know what the university is? Yes, you know you've got your department. Yes, you've got your college. Yes, you've got these weird things called schools of which your department's a part. But then what about the libraries? Who on earth provides the bus? A question very important for Homertonians who know what I campaign on a lot. <laughs> so they do. They go to these meetings, and you would hope, and I do hope, that the university takes them seriously. So they are spending lots of their time representing us as students. So is this an organization which has roundly failed on several accounts? Oliver has told you yes. It is. He says, it is unaccountable, it is opaque, and people are roundly apathetic to its existence. These, however, I would say, are not problems with its structure, or indeed with the way it's run, but really with us. We have this body called the Kusu Council, which... Oliver has said would, he'd love to have a JCR and MCR Senate meeting every fortnight to discuss the issues that matter to us. It exists. I go. I lose every fortnight. But that is democracy. It is my right to go and lose every fortnight if I would like to. And with regards to your point about the uh, officer training corps, it was me that tipped off the organizations in question, that this motion had been put. And were they able to stop it? Yes. Why? Because there is a democratic body which all of the JCRs and MCRs sit on. Do you know who your rep is? Have they ever asked you for your opinion? I mean, yeah, stop nodding. Um, <laughs> this is the problem. The problem is that people don't know what's going on. You can't interact with something you don't understand, which is why, I should add, they've not managed to create a website. As a computer scientist, I'm well aware people are just downright afraid of computers. There are successes which we don't hear about in amongst these loud disasters. 
Yes, they're quiet. Yes, many of them happen behind the scenes. But I would say they're equally important. Things like the free contraception available in many of your JCRs, that's not provided or funded by your JCR. That's funded by KUSU. The reason why there aren't so many little babies running around this university is thanks to the Cambridge University Students' Union. And I think we can all be thankful for that, having seen the behavior at some Wednesday Cindy's. It is a forum for JCRs and MCRs to share best practice. JCRs and MCRs exist on their own. How on earth do we know what best practice is or how to come about it? KUSU is the organization that brings us together. For example, to pick something topical, consent workshops, or the women's campaigns model for a harassment policy for colleges to take up. These are issues which are important and which JCRs and MCRs need support on. Working together, we can achieve so much more than working alone. But I do agree on some points. It does represent students. I think the question is which students? At the moment, it does represent a small subset of student opinion far too well. And I would agree that perhaps there are a few too many votes for the executive and not enough votes for the JCRs and MCRs at the council meetings. But this is not a problem with the organization itself. This is a problem with how we interact with it. And occasionally, the personalities who are in charge. Sometimes communication and messaging seem more attuned to some sort of defunct Soviet-era ministry or a socialist summer camp than a student's union. I'd like you to kind of think up in your mind, apart from some of the things I've outlined, when was the last time KUSU had a tangible impact in your life that you saw? Probably not at all, I think, in my three years. So, what could it do better? I think there are many things which I've outlined in my speech tonight which show that they do represent us and they can achieve so much. Because these committees which represent their university are not part of the colleges, but they're not part of the departments, we need an organization that represents us to these committees, that sits in these dreary, dull, long university meetings at which they decide important things. Things like, should the two colleges which are furthest away have a bus service, or should we give one to AstraZeneca on the biomedical campus? Easy questions, you would think, if you're a student to pick the correct answer to for the university. This appears to have been something which is really, really difficult. We need these students sitting on these committees. We need this organization, which does represent us. Yes, I would say it could do better. Yes, there are opportunities to change things. But fundamentally, the whole idea of it is a good thing. So how can we change this feeling of not being represented, despite physically being represented on various committees and on various bodies, to actually feeling like this is an organization we can get behind, an organization that represents us, that we think of when we're thinking, what is wrong with this university? Who can I go to to fix things? At those times where at the moment you think, there's no changing this. The university has always been this way. Well, I would say, Tradition is just peer pressure from dead people. And therefore, if we really want to change things, we can. So what should you do next, after I've finished speaking? There are elections coming up. And you should vote in those. And you should vote for the candidate that you agree with. You should bother to read some of the manifestos, no matter how boring they look at first glance. You should find out from your JCR or your MCR who represents you. You should find out what is being debated at these council meetings. And yes, you should come along and talk at them and see what is happening in your university. Because this is your university and this is your students' union and it is representing you. 
so you should feel like it is. Go, vote, run for some of the positions like Peter did. And I think you'll find that once you actually have a think about how you can make the, this organization better and the good things it has done, albeit quietly, you will say that KUSU does represent students and that we should get behind it and that we should change it. Thank you very much.